Good morning and welcome to Games and Breakfast, the show that introduces you to games and the time it takes for you to get ready in the morning. I'm Alex and today we're looking at Trials of Fire. Let me know in the comments below what you're having for breakfast and be sure to hit the like button if you want to support the series and if you like the video. Let's get started here with Trials of Fire. We're going to choose an adventure here. Basically, the way Trials of, uh, of Fire works here is that, uh, you know, you have a, a you have to set up a party. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up, uh, I decided not to show you guys these because I don't want, uh, we can actually unlock them, but uh, I don't want to spoil too much things here. So we're actually going to go with the Warrior and the Warlord. Uh, we have a couple different ones. So this is like a mage. This is like a, well, like a ranged hunter, basically. And these are two melee heroes, uh, the Warrior and the Warlord, which is what I want because they're going to combo well together. Um, we can kind of select which items we take with us. Quest, the Trial of Fire is a unique kind of custom conquest every time we run it. The Water Gem is a unique lore one. It tells you it takes about uh, two hours. This one here takes much uh, longer, about three, uh, you know, well, a couple hours. And then you have Daily Challenges, Combat Runs, Endless Odyssey, which is pretty cool, uh, Endless Objectives. Then you have a Seasonal Campaign as well. Uh, we're going to do a short run here. So we're going to do the Trial of Fire, a short run, and we're, we're going to get started here. Um, the settlement of Turalyon is dying. We must track down the settlement's leader, Naya, who has ventured out into the grasslands in search of a powerful artifact, but has not been heard from yet. So our objective is to follow in her footsteps and track her down. We're going to continue here. So basically, we have a couple things here just to explain the, the UI. So these are our party members. If we click this, we have access to their inventories. If we add, uh, you know, once we start gaining items, we modify the cards in their hand. Um, this here, so determined is our morale, the higher our morale, we get some epic bonuses. Uh, this is how much uh, rest we have. So resting in like towns and stuff like that is going to benefit us. If we're too tired, we take combat penalties. That's our ability to rest. This is our food, which is great. It allows us to kind of recover and, uh, you know, heal a little bit. Uh, this is for uh, those that are uh, mages, which we don't really have here. And this here is our money that we can use. Now, this is the direction of our general objective. So we're going to actually... like. We could take a, a bit of a long route, but what we'll do is we'll stop at a few different places along the way. Uh, so we'll go to this question mark here. So hanging from a beam suspended overhead is a gruesome scene. A large human body swinging to and fro in the wind. Uh, do we scour the area? Let's just, you know what, let's not uh, climb up here. Let's actually, uh, let's actually just, you know, get a couple coins probably. Yeah, so it's a couple coins and we'll continue here. Uh, you know, a gruesome scene, but not one we're actually necessarily interested in. So we have a combat scenario there. We're going to avoid them for now. We'll go to this uh, this ruins though. So very high probability of battle, probability of equipment and food as well. So let's go to these ruins, see what's there. So we're still fresh. So the party enters the ruins what appear to be an ancient hybrid work pit. Without warning, the sun above flares erratically, causing immense heat to beat down above, and you're soon confronted by a hybrid. So we're gonna fight here. So we have an environmental uh, inf effect there. So funny for our first fight. So we have obstacles in the way here, which will impact our ability to traverse. Uh, we also have an environmental uh, situation here. So all characters and their turn not adjacent to an obstacle take two unblockable damage. So basically the way this game works is you have different cards, three per hero. Uh, this is not one full deck. Each card, like this, this hero is controlling these three cards. This hero is controlling these three cards and vice versa. Avoidance allows us to move and gain willpower. Willpower is essentially our mana. So what I want to do is we want to approach this hybrid slaver here um, and we're going to run up here. So now this character does not have any move cards. Avoidance is a movement card and we don't have any. What we can then do is we can recycle one, uh, one of these cards, for instance, Wild Swing. So we recycle one of the cards by white right clicking and now we can actually use a movement command. Uh, what's concerning about her is she's gonna take unblockable damage because she's next to the Sun Flare here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this swipe, put him next to the unblockable damage and I'm actually gonna do an improvised shot here. So we'll be able to hit this guy for some damage here. We're gonna be able to hit him again. Couple nice uh, shots. You'll notice the second shot did reduce damage, which is fine. We're gonna get rid of leadership here. We're actually gonna run her towards here. And defensive stance is a power buff. We'll apply that as well. And now these two cards we'll just use. And any extra willpower here is gonna be adding defense to the uh, the hero that spent that willpower. So not bad. Okay, now as you can see, it is a uh, turn-based strategy game, so we took a little bit of damage there, and that hero got pulled in, and they've defended for four, so they're going to have six armor here. Um, but because they weren't next to a Sun Flare, uh, you know, so we can move and gain willpower here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this to gain that. I'm going to take the Avoidance here, we'll move forward. I'm also going to get rid of Adrenaline. No, 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 no. Yeah, we get rid of Adrenaline here and move again. The importance of this is now that we should be in a situation to be able to combo attack. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to 
um, use her bash ability on this target. So they should, and we see how both uh, attack. Because they're standing beside each other, they're comboing each other's attacks. Here's one, another combo. So we're going to combo here again. Another combo, and we have multiple avoidances here. Now what we can do is we can actually get rid of the entire hand and actually re-roll the hand. We take a fatigue card, but you know what? We're able to take a power shot, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to move up here. Is it going to allow me to power shot? No, I don't have... I actually made a mistake. We can actually go back here, which is good. So I made a mistake. So we're going to do this and we'll power shot. That's what I want to do. So there is a reverse button there, which is nice because I clearly made a mistake in the way I, I, I handled that situation there. So we're going to take all these weapons here, which is great. Take the weapons. We are going to level up. Uh, we're going to level up our main warrior here. So we have an opportunity to pick what we want. Hamstring, so a mobilized unit. That's actually really good. I'm going to take a hamstring card, um, and we're going to change it for one of the wild swings, probably. Wild swing's pretty expensive. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue on our way here. Now, we are getting tired. The problem is, is that that fortification there would have been a good place to rest. I probably should have rested there. So, we are moving. Is there another set of ruins? There is. So, what we'll do is, before we get too tired, before we drop to the next tier, so... Okay, a small, well-spoken chard claims to have been robbed and humiliated by a nearby tribe. They offer 40 obsidian if they kill the chard and retrieve their belongings. Let's choose to not get involved here. But instead, what we're going to do, see we're drained. We're going to use this opportunity to rest. We can actually upgrade an item because, uh, you know, uh, actually we can't upgrade an item. We're just going to rest. We're going to rest. And as you'll see, we ate some food. We gained some stuff back. But our eagerness goes down every time we rest because we're not using time effectively. Okay, so... We're right back to fresh. We're still eager, which is good. So we have uh, more opportunity for loot, more armor, better camp healing, which so is I great. I guess we'll have to go this way, and hopefully we can kind of traverse the mountains there. Okay, it's going to let us traverse there. So we'll go over here into this ruins here. Um, a living world castle teetering at the edge of the blasted hill. Uh, do we take some? Uh, do we take an injury for a reward? No, we do not take an injury for a reward. There's a fight here. We're sheltered. We're going to take a rest here. We're going to rest. Okay, we ate a little bit. We're going to break camp. We're going to move. This is going to move towards us, I'm sure. Okay, we can go here. So up ahead is a human slave chained together, two rattling slavers armed. Hard battle, new follower. Let's actually fight these guys. I'm not, I'm not letting slavers get away. I'm not letting slavers get away. Okay, here we go. We're going to move nice and fast here. Uh, we're going to move this. Move her forward. I'm going to defensive stance her. Yes, and I'm going to take this. I'm going to move her forward again. We're trying to remember. We're trying to close the gap. Uh, so they have that. A little unfortunate here. We haven't pulled any adrenaline cards. Uh, not adrenaline. Sorry, the movement cards. We're going to go right up front here. Um, now we can strike through, which is interesting. We have an improvised attack. So we get rid of the swipe. This guy has no vision of them. He can hit him. But the archers are not going to get hit. You know what? We'll do it. We'll hit this. We'll get rid of this. We'll move up forward a little bit. And we'll end our turn. Okay, so melee attack. Two willpower is quite a bit here. So they're moving out of the way. So they're defending. Trying to set up positions here. It's also going to restrict our ability to do combo attacks because of their positioning. So they're defending right up here. And they're getting a range of shot off. Okay, so a little bit of damage taken there. Just thinking, uh, we can advance them here. We'll advance them here. We'll inspire her. I don't want, we don't need to draw cards right now. Well, we just need them to move. Uh, hamstring is not what we need. We just want her here. We're going to swipe here. We're going to get a combo attack because we got them cornered here. And we will... You know what? I'm going to give him willpower here. We don't need to power... Hmm. We kind of need to move. We don't really have a... We do have an open shot here, so I can use avoidance. I don't want to get rid of the swipe, though. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take. I'm gonna use the avoidance card. So I'm going to move up. Advance card, sorry. We're going to swipe here. Got a little bit of bonus da- Oh, we didn't get the bonus damage. Power shot's not going to be enough. But hopefully we're in position to actually take these guys down next turn.
Okay. All right, so we got March here. So activate all friendly. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, inspire. So we have no attacking cards, which is kind of a problem here. So what we're going to do is we are going to swipe here. Get, add a little combo strike. We are going to get rid of this. Do an improvised attack. This guy has to go down. He's down. Advance her right up. Now we can inspire him, I guess. We don't really have much of a... Okay, I'll set, I'll set him up right here so he can hit both, but... Very awkward because of the way the this map is positioned here. These, these guys are kind of right in the corner. They're hiding in the corner, damn it. So we're going to take some damage here. Oh, our, our shield, uh, our defenses did kind of hold there. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. Where are these guys getting all this willpower from? How many attacks are these guys? Are you kidding me? That was actually an incredible... You gotta be kidding me. That is an incredible amount. Like, that was an amazing turn by them. Like, that was an insane turn. Uh, so, after we do it... So, we're gonna give her a benefit when she doesn't attack. She gains defense. We're gonna get rid of focus here. Uh, no, 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 no. So, I gotta re recycle a card. Take the focus. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna hit him. No. Get rid of this. So we can swipe twi twice or uh, ranged attack. We hit this guy twice. If I use this, it's not a combo. We'll get rid of this. We'll shoot this guy. Ten to five. Got some willpower, which is fine. We'll close the turn here. So we have some defense up here. These guys better not chain insane turns together again. It's all these defense cards. Okay, they didn't really do any damage there, which is good for us. So we don't want the advanced cards. Get rid of them right away. We can ha We don't need hamstring. We do do additional damage. We're going to do an improvised attack on this guy. Hit him for... We can strike through. No. Get rid of strike through. Get rid of swipe. Improvise the attack. We'll hit this guy here. There we go. Use our lightning there. We don't need to move. Okay. And we will hamstring as well. And he's down. All right, one guy left. One guy left. We got him pinned here. Okay, that that pull's beneficial. You just pulled someone who is uh, uh, not enough willpower. We'll get rid of all oh, the so exhausted cards do impact us here. So what we're gonna do is we take adrenaline. That means that she's gonna gain willpower whenever she attacks. So she gained one there. She has to swipe again. Combo strike again. Inspire. I could have done the Inspire before, so we'll get rid of these. We'll swipe. Another combo strike. We're not going to be able to take this guy down this turn. Well, we're on our way, damn it. We're on our way. I probably should have Inspired. Okay. Okay, let's take this guy down fast here. We're going to double strike him. Oh, we got to get rid of things. Double strike. There, he's dead. Easy game. Easy fight. So we took some damage there. Trying to move quickly in the... the to, to service the idea of, you know, eating breakfast. So we're taking a level up here. Uh, single out. Regroup. Show the way. Move three and activate all other friendly heroes. Not bad. Encourage. I like this. I like, I like encourage. We'll take an encourage and we'll get rid of an inspire. So, except... So, Burly Man is blacksmith. New follower. So, which is great. So, we got a new follower here. So, uh, common and rare shields that are upgraded. Adam the Blacksmith, crafting. So, common and rare shields and melee weapons at a uh, reduced price. Awesome. So, we got ourselves a follower, which is great. Let's move this way here. So, this is this is the... Oh, don't get tired here. This is the location that we needed to find. So, 
You come across what it must be the ruin that Nea described in her writings. Jiraiya notices a large spined creature moving through the rubble. You approach cautiously, hoping to avoid the confrontation with the massive beast. You quickly lose sight of the creature within the rubble, and you get the feeling that you have become prey with a warning. The huge spiked back drops down from above, trying to pin Sahana to the ground with a razor sharp leg. Who are we against? We are against a spider. I've not seen this. Barbed, so barbed spines, all ranged attacks deal plus one damage. So we got to close the gap fast. So we are going to, we're going to go right at her. We could power shot her right now. Ranged attacks, she's going to take damage back though, isn't she? You know what? We're going to activate everyone. That's right. We're charging. We're charging. We're charging. You're going to advance again. Alertness, draw two cards. We don't need to do that right now. You could advance. You can probably stay here. She might be safe. I don't know what this boss does. Bosses tend to be a little tricksy, so. Okay, so that was a nice little attack there. We can hit her here as well. And uh, double strike. We won't have enough here. So we're just going to take this. We'll move right up front. And she's going to gain two additional armor. So we're on the spider. These bosses often have a special ability, so they moved and did an attack. Damn, okay, that was actually big damage there. Oh no, that's even more damage. Don't hit the- Oh, so the AI is kind of spreading the damage out here, so she's got five cards available to them. Uh, encourage. Okay. Let's- I'm gonna close- No, no, three spell. Let's, let's actually do that. No, I don't have the willpower. So we're gonna get rid of this. We'll encourage. We will focus. Strike through, get rid of. We're going to focus. We're going to get rid of the advance. Defensive stance, yes. We are going to get rid of wild swing. We're going to close in. We're going to swipe. No, 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 no. Can we close the gap? We cannot. We're just too far. But we're going to increase the amount of damage that they can do. So it's not a combo attack here. It's not a combo attack, but we're okay. We're okay. We gotta take the spider down. So hit and run, deal two attack and move base. I couldn't see. Deal two damage. So push at Jason. So she pushed him away and now doing a ranged attack. So this boss is doing more damage now. I think that we are in a pretty good spot here. Um, defensive stance. We'll take the defensive stance card here as well. Okay, we're also gonna remove leadership. We're gonna move her right up and we're gonna. No, no, we're gonna wait for the swipe. Rally, gain four. Or adrenaline. What we're going to do is we are going to get rid of the rally. We're going to move them, move them up. We are going to get rid of the adrenaline here. We're going to swipe. It should be a combo attack. It is. Now this guy here has some opportunities for us. So we can do this. So we add additional power. So we're getting more willpower. Get rid of the swipe. We don't, re we don't need it. We're going to do a power shot. And we hit for five. We're doing pretty good here. We're doing pretty good here. I think we should be able to kill this boss unless they do some crazy melee attack. So then they draw a card from their discard pile there. So defensive stance. So range attack. So move three. So, oh no. Oh my gosh. Our warrior is so close to dying. So what we're going to do here, get rid of the exhausted card. I think we just, we just power shot. Like we just keep play this safe right now. Oh, I can't, I can't hit them. They move just out of range. Alright, we're going to inspire them. We're going to... Get rid of advance. I need to get rid of the improvised attack. Move. So that we're in, we're in vision. Power shot. For seven. Improvised attack. And it's done. That's what I'm talking about. We got ourselves the victory here. And uh, that's what it's all about. And here we get a nice bunch of rewards. We get a legendary item. We get a manual. So we get our money. We get some mithril dust. Epic crafting item. We get to upgrade this guy. Nice. We will take a... Uh, you know, I like I like flare. So expose people in a target area. We'll take... Uh, we'll get rid of... Uh, we'll get rid of the advance. No, swipe. We don't really need swipe. We don't want him melee anyway. Uh, so we get a manual, which is of high quality, which can go to our warlord. So we it adds additional cards, which is great. 
And, uh, oh, I get to upgrade these guys again, too, so we can upgrade her. Uh, we will do Counter-Strike. I like Counter-Strike. We'll get rid of the, uh, you know, some Cisco. Oh, we all we got, actually, a lot of upgrades here. Bone Wolf, take aim. Uh, signal shot, ranged attack, activates other friendly characters. We will do that. Get rid of these those there. And then we have a legendary item. So we, we take the legendary item. Now we get to pick which one we want. So this could be used specifically on our... And I'll, I'll go quickly here so you guys can, you know, pause if you want to read it. But you, I can add this to my, uh, my ranged guy. You can see at the bottom there. And this item here... Uh, can go on my Warlord, improve the Warlord's weapon, and those are the cards that get added to my deck. Uh, this here can go onto either the Warrior or the Ranger, and this here is a crafting material. So what I'll do is I will take... we got a Summon, which is pretty interesting here. I'm going to take this here. So we take the card, we take it, we're going to continue. So it appears that Na Naya has been here. Rastin points out to some writing carved on stone slab. And the message to the Voiders following that where Naya is gone next. So we've left so we've left a trail here. So we take the rest here. And now we basically continue our journey. There's apparently she went somewhere else. But what I want to show you quickly here is that we can go here and now we have this torn satchel. We can add the torn satchel from the to the uh, our our dude here. And as you can see, it adds to the deck. We'll go to our warrior. We get our wooden club. We can change it. We can actually add the wooden club here, which is gonna add the bash effect to our um, our card deck here and our warlord we can actually add the epic item which is going to have a huge impact on our our, uh, our hero and as you can see it's going to add multiple significant cards to the deck and this oh in this case we can't actually add that there and i can add the uh, the manual as well so we can actually really change the the card here the card layout of the uh the warlord anyways guys this is a quick breakdown of trials of fire i hope you guys liked it uh you know check out the other games and breakfast videos above if you're still eating breakfast and thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to all of our wonderful subscribers steam link will be down below take care everyone and have yourselves a wonderful day